Polystyrene PS, is a synthetic aromatic hydrocarbon polymer made from the monomer styrene. Polystyrene can be solid or foamed. General purpose polystyrene is clear, hard, and rather brittle. It is an inexpensive resin per unit weight. It is a rather poor barrier to oxygen and water vapor and has a relatively low melting point. Polystyrene is one of the most widely used plastics, the scale of its production being several million tons per year. Polystyrene can be naturally transparent, but can be colored with colorants. Uses include protective packaging, such as packing peanuts and CD and DVD cases, containers, lids, bottles, trays, tumblers, disposable cutlery and in the making of models. As a thermoplastic polymer, polystyrene is in a solid, glassy state at room temperature, but flows if heated above about 100 degrees Celsius, its glass transition temperature. It becomes rigid again when cooled. This temperature behavior is exploited for extrusion, as in styrofoam, and also for molding and vacuum forming, since it can be cast into molds with fine detail. Under ASTM standards, polystyrene is regarded as not biodegradable. It is accumulating as a form of litter in the outside environment, particularly along shores and waterways, especially in its foam form, and in the Pacific Ocean. Topic. History Polystyrene was discovered in 1839 by Eduard Simon, an apothecary from Berlin. From storax, the resin of the American sweetgum tree Liquidamba styrosiflua, he distilled an oily substance, a monomer that he named styrol. Several days later, Simon found that the styrol had thickened into a jelly he dubbed styrol oxide styroloxid", because he presumed an oxidation. By 1845 Jamaican-born chemist John Bowell Blythe and German chemist August Wilhelm von Hoffmann showed that the same transformation of styrol took place in the absence of oxygen. They called the product, metasterol. Analysis showed that it was chemically identical to Simon's styroloxid. In 1866 Marcelin Berdelot correctly identified the formation of metasterol styroloxid, from styrol as a polymerization process. About 80 years later it was realized that heating of styrol starts a chain reaction that produces macromolecules, following the thesis of German organic chemist Hermann Staudinger (1881–1965). This eventually led to the substance receiving its present name, polystyrene. The company IG Farben began manufacturing polystyrene in Ludwigshafen, about 1931, hoping it would be a suitable replacement for die-cast zinc in many applications. Success was achieved when they developed a reactor vessel that extruded polystyrene through a heated tube and cutter, producing polystyrene in pellet form. Otis Ray McIntyre, 1918-1996, a chemical engineer at Dow Chemical, rediscovered a process first patented by Swedish inventor Carl Munters. According to the Science History Institute, Dow bought the rights to Munter's method and began producing a lightweight, water-resistant, and buoyant material that seemed perfectly suited for building docks and watercraft and for insulating homes, offices, and chicken sheds. In 1944, styrofoam was patented. Before 1949, chemical engineer Fritz Stastny 1908 developed pre-expanded PS beads by incorporating aliphatic hydrocarbons, such as pentane. These beads are the raw material for molding parts or extruding sheets. BASF and Stastny applied for a patent that was issued in 1949. The molding process was demonstrated at the Kunststoff Messe 1952 in Dusseldorf. Products were named Styropore. The crystal structure of isotactic polystyrene was reported by Giulio Natta. In 1954, the Coppers Company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, developed expanded polystyrene EPS foam under the trade name Dialyte. In 1960, Dart Container, the largest manufacturer of foam cups, shipped their first order. Topic. Structure In chemical terms, polystyrene is a long-chain hydrocarbon wherein alternating carbon centers are attached to phenyl groups, a derivative of benzene. Polystyrene's chemical formula is C8H8N. It contains the chemical elements carbon and hydrogen. The material's properties are determined by short-range van der Waals attractions between polymers chains. Since the molecules consist of thousands of atoms, the cumulative attractive force between the molecules is large. 
when heated, or deform at a rapid rate due to a combination of viscoelastic and thermal insulation properties, the chains are able to take on a higher degree of conformation and slide past each other. This intermolecular weakness versus the high intramolecular strength due to the hydrocarbon backbone confers flexibility and elasticity. The ability of the system to be readily deformed above its glass transition temperature allows polystyrene and thermoplastic polymers in general to be readily softened and molded upon heating. Extruded polystyrene is about as strong as an unalloyed aluminium but much more flexible and much less dense 1.05 g per cc for polystyrene vs 2.70 g per cc for aluminium. Topic. Polymerization Polystyrene results when styrene monomers interconnect. In the polymerization, the carbon-carbon pi bond of the vinyl group is broken and a new carbon-carbon sigma bond is formed, attaching to the carbon of another styrene monomer to the chain. The newly formed sigma bond is stronger than the pi bond that was broken, thus it is difficult to depolymerize polystyrene. About a few thousand monomers typically comprise a chain of polystyrene, giving a molecular weight of 100,000 to 400,000 grams per mole. Each carbon of the backbone has tetrahedral geometry, and those carbons that have a phenyl group benzene ring attached are stereogenic. If the backbone were to be laid as a flat elongated zigzag chain, each phenyl group would be tilted forward or backward compared to the plane of the chain. The relative stereochemical relationship of consecutive phenyl groups determines the tacticity, which has an effect on various physical properties of the material. The diastereomer where all of the phenyl groups are on the same side is called isotactic polystyrene, which is not produced commercially. Topic. Tactic polystyrene The only commercially important form of polystyrene is a tactic, in which the phenyl groups are randomly distributed on both sides of the polymer chain. This random positioning prevents the chains from aligning with sufficient regularity to achieve any crystallinity. The plastic has a glass transition temperature Tg of approximately 90 degrees Celsius. Polymerization is initiated with free radicals. Topic. Syndiotactic polystyrene ziegler natta polymerization can produce an ordered syndiotactic polystyrene with the phenyl groups positioned on alternating sides of the hydrocarbon backbone. This form is highly crystalline with a trademark of 270 degrees Celsius 518 degrees Fahrenheit. Syndiotactic polystyrene resin is currently produced under the trade name XAREC by Idemitsu Corporation, who use a metallocene catalyst for the polymerization reaction. Topic. Degradation Polystyrene is relatively chemically inert. While it is waterproof, and resistant to breakdown by many acids and bases, it is easily attacked by many organic solvents e.g. it dissolves quickly when exposed to acetone, chlorinated solvents, and aromatic hydrocarbon solvents. Because of its resilience and inertness, it is used for fabricating many objects of commerce. Like other organic compounds, polystyrene burns to give carbon dioxide and water vapor, in addition to other thermal degradation byproducts. Polystyrene, being an aromatic hydrocarbon, typically combusts incompletely as indicated by the sooty flame. The process of depolymerizing polystyrene into its monomer, styrene, is called pyrolysis. This involves using high heat and pressure to break down the chemical bonds between each styrene compound. Pyrolysis usually goes up to 430 degrees Celsius. Topic. Organisms Polystyrene is generally considered to be non-biodegradable. However, certain organisms are able to degrade it, albeit very slowly. In 2015, researchers discovered that mealworms, the larvae form of the darkling beetle Tenebrio molitor, could digest and subsist healthily on a diet of EPS. About 100 mealworms could consume between 34 and 39 mg of this white foam in a day. The droppings of mealworm were found to be safe for use as soil for crops. Superworms Zophobus morio, are also reported to eat EPS. Pseudomonas putida is capable of converting styrene oil into the biodegradable plastic PHA. 
this may someday be of use in the effective disposing of polystyrene foam. It is worthy to note the polystyrene must undergo pyrolysis to turn into styrene oil. Topic. Forms produced Polystyrene is commonly injection molded, vacuum formed, or extruded, while expanded polystyrene is either extruded or molded in a special process. Polystyrene copolymers are also produced, these contain one or more other monomers in addition to styrene. In recent years the expanded polystyrene composites with cellulose and starch have also been produced. Polystyrene is used in some polymer bonded explosives PBX. Topic: sheet or molded polystyrene. Polystyrene PS is used for producing disposable plastic cutlery and dinnerware, CD, jewel cases, smoke detector housings, license plate frames, plastic model assembly kits, and many other objects where a rigid economical plastic is desired. Production methods include thermoforming, vacuum forming, and injection molding. Polystyrene Petri dishes and other laboratory containers such as test tubes and microplates play an important role in biomedical research and science. For these uses, articles are almost always made by injection molding, and often sterilized post-molding, either by irradiation or by treatment with ethylene oxide. Post-mold surface modification, usually with oxygen-rich plasmas, is often done to introduce polar groups. Much of modern biomedical research relies on the use of such products, they therefore play a critical role in pharmaceutical research. Thin sheets of polystyrene are used in polystyrene film capacitors as it forms a very stable dielectric, but has largely fallen out of use in favor of polyester. Topic foams Polystyrene foams are 95 to 98 percent air. Polystyrene foams are good thermal insulators and are therefore often used as building insulation materials, such as in insulating concrete forms and structural insulated panel building systems. Gray polystyrene foam, incorporating graphite has superior insulation properties, PS foams also exhibit good damping properties, therefore it is used widely in packaging. The trademark styrofoam by Dow Chemical Company is informally used mainly US and Canada for all foam polystyrene products, although strictly it should only be used for extruded closed cell polystyrene foams made by Dow Chemicals. Foams are also used for non-weight bearing architectural structures such as ornamental pillars. Topic: Expanded polystyrene EPS Expanded polystyrene EPS, is a rigid and tough, closed-cell foam with a normal density range of 11 to 32 kg per cubic meter. It is usually white and made of pre-expanded polystyrene beads. EPS is used for food containers, molded sheets for building insulation, and packing material either as solid blocks formed to accommodate the item being protected or as loose fill peanuts, cushioning fragile items inside boxes. A significant portion of all EPS products are manufactured through injection molding. Mold tools tend to be manufactured from steels, which can be hardened and plated, and aluminum alloys. The molds are controlled through a split via a channel system of gates and runners. EPS is colloquially called styrofoam in the United States and Canada, an incorrectly applied genericization of Dow Chemicals brand of extruded polystyrene. Topic EPS in building construction sheets of EPS are commonly packaged as rigid panels common in Europe is a size of 100 cm by 50 cm, usually depending on an intended type of connection and glue techniques, it is in fact 99.5 cm by 49.5 cm or 98 cm by 48 cm, less common is 120 by 60 cm, size 4 by 8 or 2 by 8 feet in the United States. Common thicknesses are from 10 mm to 500 mm. Many customization, additives and thin additional external layers on one or both sides, are often added to help with various properties. Thermal conductivity is measured according to N12667. Typical values range from 0.032 to 0.038 with MK depending on the density of the EPS board. 
The value of 0.038 with MK was obtained at 15 kg per cubic meter while the value of 0.032 with MK was obtained at 40 kg per cubic meter according to the data sheet of K710 from Styrochem Finland. Adding fillers, graphites, aluminium, or carbons, has recently allowed the thermal conductivity of EPS to reach around 0.030 to 0.034, as low as 0.029, and as such has a great black color which distinguishes it from standard EPS. Several EPS producers have produced a variety of these increased thermal resistance EPS usage for this product in the UK and EU. Water vapor diffusion resistance (MU) of EPS is around 30 to 70. ICCS International Code Council Evaluation Service requires EPS boards used in building construction meet ASTM C 578 requirements. One of these requirements is that the oxygen index of EPS as measured by ASTM D 2863 be greater than 24 volume percent. Typical EPS has an oxygen index of around 18 volume percent, thus, a flame retardant is added to styrene or polystyrene during the formation of EPS. The boards containing a flame retardant when tested in a tunnel using test method OL 723 or ASTM E84 will have a flame spread index of less than 25 and a smoke developed index of less than 450. ICCS requires the use of a 15 minute thermal barrier when EPS boards are used inside of a building. According to EPSIA ICF organization, the typical density of EPS used for insulated concrete forms is 1.35 to 1.80 pcf. This is either type 2 or type 9 EPS according to ASTM C578. EPS blocks or boards used in building construction are commonly cut using hot wires. Topic. Extruded polystyrene XPS. Extruded polystyrene foam XPS, consists of closed cells. It offers improved surface roughness, higher stiffness and reduced thermal conductivity. The density range is about 28 to 45 kg per cubic meter. Extruded polystyrene material is also used in crafts and model building, in particular architectural models. Because of the extrusion manufacturing process, XPS does not require faces to maintain its thermal or physical property performance. Thus, it makes a more uniform substitute for corrugated cardboard. Thermal conductivity varies between 0.029 and 0.039 with MK depending on bearing strength. Density and the average value is approximately 0.035 with MK. Water vapor diffusion resistance mu of XPS is around 80 to 250. Topic: Water absorption of polystyrene foams. Although it is a closed cell foam, both expanded and extruded polystyrene are not entirely waterproof or vaporproof. In expanded polystyrene there are interstitial gaps between the expanded closed cell pellets that form an open network of channels between the bonded pellets, and this network of gaps can become filled with liquid water. If the water freezes into ice, it expands and can cause polystyrene pellets to break off from the foam. Extruded polystyrene is also permeable by water molecules and cannot be considered a vapor barrier. Waterlogging commonly occurs over a long period of time in polystyrene foams that are constantly exposed to high humidity or are continuously immersed in water, such as in hot tub covers, in floating docks, as supplemental flotation under boat seats, and for below grade exterior building insulation constantly exposed to groundwater. Typically an exterior vapor barrier such as impermeable plastic sheeting or a sprayed-on coating is necessary to prevent saturation. Topic. Copolymers Pure polystyrene is brittle, but hard enough that a fairly high-performance product can be made by giving it some of the properties of a stretchier material, such as polybutadiene rubber. The two such materials can never normally be mixed because of the small mixing entropy of polymers see Flory Huggins solution theory, but if polybutadiene is added during polymerization it can become chemically bonded to the polystyrene, forming a graph copolymer, which helps to incorporate normal polybutadiene into the final mix, resulting in high-impact polystyrene or HIPS, often called high-impact plastic, in advertisements. One commercial name for HIPS is Bextrine. 
Common applications of HIPS include toys and product casings. HIPS is usually injection molded in production. Autoclaving polystyrene can compress and harden the material. Several other copolymers are also used with styrene. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene or ABS plastic is similar to HIPS, a copolymer of acrylonitrile and styrene, toughened with polybutadiene. Most electronics cases are made of this form of polystyrene, as are many sewer pipes. SAN is a copolymer of styrene with acrylonitrile, and SMA1 with maleic anhydride. Styrene can be copolymerized with other monomers, for example, divinylbenzene can be used for cross-linking the polystyrene chains to give the polymer used in solid phase peptide synthesis. Topic. Oriented polystyrene Oriented polystyrene ops, is produced by stretching extruded PS film, improving visibility through the material by reducing haziness and increasing stiffness. This is often used in packaging where the manufacturer would like the consumer to see the enclosed product. Some benefits to ops are that it is less expensive to produce than other clear plastics such as polypropylene PP, polyethylene terephthalate PET, and high-impact polystyrene HIPS, and it is less hazy than HIPS or PP. The main disadvantage to OPS is that it is brittle, and will crack or tear easily. Topic. Environmental issues Topic. Production Polystyrene foams are produced using blowing agents that form bubbles and expand the foam. In expanded polystyrene, these are usually hydrocarbons such as pentane, which may pose a flammability hazard in manufacturing or storage of newly manufactured material, but have relatively mild environmental impact. Extruded polystyrene is usually made with hydrofluorocarbons HFC 134A, which have global warming potentials of approximately 1,000 to 1,300 times that of carbon dioxide. Topic. Non biodegradable Discarded polystyrene does not biodegrade for hundreds of years and is resistant to photo oxidation. Topic. Litter Animals do not recognize polystyrene foam as an artificial material and may even mistake it for food. Polystyrene foam blows in the wind and floats on water, due to its low specific gravity. It can have serious effects on the health of birds or marine animals that swallow significant quantities. Topic. Reducing Restricting the use of foam polystyrene takeout food packaging is a priority of many solid waste environmental organizations. Efforts have been made to find alternatives to polystyrene, especially foam in restaurant settings. The original impetus was to eliminate chlorofluorocarbons CFC, which was a former component of foam. Topic. United States In 1987, Berkeley, California, banned CFC food containers. The following year, Suffolk County, New York, became the first U.S. jurisdiction to ban polystyrene in general. However, legal challenges by the Society of the Plastics Industry kept the ban from going into effect until at last it was delayed when the Republican and Conservative parties gained the majority of the county legislature. In the meantime, Berkeley became the first city to ban all foam food containers. As of 2006, about 100 localities in the United States, including Portland, Oregon, and San Francisco had some sort of ban on polystyrene foam in restaurants. For instance, in 2007 Oakland, California, required restaurants to switch to disposable food containers that would biodegrade if added to food compost. In 2013, San Jose became reportedly the largest city in the country to ban polystyrene foam food containers. Some communities have implemented wide polystyrene bans, such as Freeport, Maine, which did so in 1990. 
In 1988, the first U.S. ban of general polystyrene foam was enacted in Berkeley, California. On July 1, 2015, New York City became the largest city in the United States to attempt to prohibit the sale, possession, and distribution of single use polystyrene foam. The initial decision was overturned on appeal. In San Francisco, supervisors approved the toughest ban on styrofoam EPS in the U.S., which went into effect January 1, 2017. The city's Department of the Environment can make exceptions for certain uses like shipping medicines at prescribed temperatures. The U.S. Green Restaurant Association does not allow polystyrene foam to be used as part of its certification standard. Several green leaders, from the Dutch Ministry of the Environment to Starbucks's green team, advise people to reduce their environmental harm by using reusable coffee cups. In March 2019, Maryland banned polystyrene foam food containers and became the first state in the country to pass a food container foam ban through the state legislature. Maine was the first state to officially get a foam food container ban onto the books. In May 2019, Maryland Governor Hogan allowed the foam ban House Bill 109 to become law without a signature making Maryland the second state to have a food container foam ban on the books, but is the first one to take effect on July 1, 2020. <laughs> Outside the United States China banned expanded polystyrene takeout, takeaway containers and tableware around 1999. However, compliance has been a problem and, in 2013, the Chinese plastics industry was lobbying for the ban's repeal. India and Taiwan also banned polystyrene foam food service ware before 2007. The government of Zimbabwe, through its Environmental Management Agency, EMA, banned polystyrene containers popularly called K-Lite in the country, under Statutory Instrument 84 of 2012 Plastic Packaging and Plastic Bottles Amendment Regulations, 2012, No. 1. The City of Vancouver, Canada, has announced its Zero Waste 2040 plan in 2018. The city will introduce bylaw amendments to prohibit business license holders from serving prepared food in polystyrene foam cups and takeout containers, beginning 1 June 2019. Recycling In general, polystyrene is not accepted in curbside collection recycling programs, and is not separated and recycled where it is accepted. In Germany, polystyrene is collected, as a consequence of the packaging law, Verpackungsverordnung, that requires manufacturers to take responsibility for recycling or disposing of any packaging material they sell. Most polystyrene products are currently not recycled due to the lack of incentive to invest in the compactors and logistical systems required. Due to the low density of polystyrene foam, it is not economical to collect. However, if the waste material goes through an initial compaction process, the material changes density from typically 30 kg per cubic meter to 330 kg per cubic meter and becomes a recyclable commodity of high value for producers of recycled plastic pellets. Expanded polystyrene scrap can be easily added to products such as EPS insulation sheets and other EPS materials for construction applications. Many manufacturers cannot obtain sufficient scrap because of collection issues. When it is not used to make more EPS, foam scrap can be turned into products such as clothes hangers, park benches, flower pots, toys, rulers, stapler bodies, seedling containers, picture frames, and architectural molding from recycled PS. As of 2016, around 100 tons of EPS are recycled every month in the UK. Recycled EPS is also used in many metal casting operations. Rastri is made from EPS that is combined with cement to be used as an insulating amendment in the making of concrete foundations and walls. American manufacturers have produced insulating concrete forms made with approximately 80% recycled EPS since 1993. Topic. Incineration If polystyrene is properly incinerated at high temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius, and with plenty of air 14 cubic meters per kilogram, the chemicals generated are water, carbon dioxide, and possibly small amounts of residual halogen compounds from flame retardants. If only incomplete incineration is done, there will also be leftover carbon soot and a complex mixture of volatile compounds. 
According to the American Chemistry Council, when polystyrene is incinerated in modern facilities, the final volume is 1% of the starting volume. Most of the polystyrene is converted into carbon dioxide, water vapor, and heat. Because of the amount of heat released, it is sometimes used as a power source for steam or electricity generation. When polystyrene was burned at temperatures of 800 to 900 degrees Celsius, the typical range of a modern incinerator, the products of combustion consisted of a complex mixture of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons (PAHs) from alkyl benzenes to benzoperylene. Over 90 different compounds were identified in combustion effluents from polystyrene. The American National Bureau of Standards Center for Fire Research found 57 chemical by-products released during the combustion of expanded polystyrene EPS, foam. Topic. Safety Topic. Health According to a Plastic Food Service Products website of the American Chemistry Council, based on scientific tests over five decades, government safety agencies have determined that polystyrene may be safe for use in food service products. For example, polystyrene comes close to meeting the standards of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the European Commission – European Food Safety Authority for use in packaging to store and serve food. The Hong Kong Food and Environmental Hygiene Department recently reviewed the safety of serving various foods in polystyrene food service products and reached the same conclusion as the US FDA. From 1999 to 2002, a comprehensive review of the potential health risks associated with exposure to styrene was conducted by a 12-member international expert panel selected by the Harvard Center for Risk Assessment. The scientists had expertise in toxicology, epidemiology, medicine, risk analysis, pharmacokinetics, and exposure assessment. The Harvard study reported that styrene is naturally present in trace quantities in foods such as strawberries, beef, and spices, and is naturally produced in the processing of foods such as wine and cheese. The study also reviewed all the published data on the quantity of styrene contributing to the diet due to migration of food packaging and disposable food contact articles, and concluded there is cause for limited concern for the general public from exposure to styrene from foods or styrenic materials used in food contact applications, such as polystyrene packaging and food service containers, especially after microwaving. Polystyrene is commonly used in containers for food and drinks. The styrene monomer from which polystyrene is made is a cancer suspect agent. Styrene is generally found in such low levels in consumer products that risks aren't substantial. Polystyrene which is used for food contact may not contain more than 1% 0.5% for fatty foods of styrene by weight. Styrene oligomers in polystyrene containers used for food packaging have been found to migrate into the food. Another Japanese study conducted on wild type and AHR null mice found that the styrene trimer, which the authors detected in cooked polystyrene container packed instant foods, may increase thyroid hormone levels. Whether polystyrene can be microwaved with food is controversial. Some containers may be safely used in a microwave, but only if labeled as such. Some sources suggest that foods containing carotene, vitamin A, or cooking oils must be avoided because of the pervasive use of polystyrene. These serious health-related issues remain topical. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fire hazards. Like other organic compounds, polystyrene is flammable. Polystyrene is classified according to DIN 4102 as a B3 product, meaning highly flammable or easily ignited. As a consequence, although it is an efficient insulator at low temperatures, its use is prohibited in any exposed installations in building construction if the material is not flame retardant. It must be concealed behind drywall, sheet metal, or concrete. Foam polystyrene plastic materials have been accidentally ignited and caused huge fires and losses of life, for example at the Dusseldorf International Airport and the Channel Tunnel, where polystyrene was inside a railcar that caught fire. Topic. See also Styrofoam – brand of extruded polystyrene foam Foam food container Bioplastic Jeffoam Structural insulated panel 
polystyrene sulfonate. 